great kingdom come, Aeneas, son of the God of gods, destined for greatness, for glory. The seeds he has brought into this world will come to be the founders of one of the most glorious empires known to man. It shall be named Rome, and it shall be signified with triumph and glory throughout history. I pray for the gods to save us from this foul storm. We have lost one ship, and the others are nowhere to be found. Oh. The winds have cleared. Is that Carthage in my sights? I see land. What is happening to my son? Why has his fortune gone awry? Who is to blame for the struggles of Aeneas and the sea? Do not worry, my dear, for it is his fate to bring about the great founders of Rome. As a mother, I naturally worry for the kin, and I will help steer his path towards his destiny. Shall be informed to meet with Dido. Queen, I am the leader of this Trojan fleet, and as your mayor right now, we need help rebuilding this. My name is Nate. Nice to meet you. So you are the leader of the scattered children of the Arabic Assembly. Welcome to Carthage. I'm Queen Dido. Let's stand together tonight. All together. Venus realizes that in order to protect her son from Juno and her possibly inciting the Phoenician people against Aeneas, she takes marriage into her own hands. Cupid, go down there and set the queen's heart with love and passion. On my way! Ten years ago, Danans have constructed a giant wooden horse with a hollow belly. They secretly hide their best soldiers fully armed within the horse while the rest of the Greek army lies low some distance from Troy. The sight of a massive horse standing before the gates on an apparently deserted battlefield baffles the Trojans. Sinon opens the horse's belly, releasing the Greek soldiers. <laughs> by the Greeks. Wake up! Oh, no, this is not happening. Troys in flames! Soon after all that Trojan fighting, I went to Crete. I believed it was my fate to rebuild the city there. However, one night the Trojan gods came to me and proved my father and Jesus wrong. They told me that my destination was elsewhere. It was in Italy. As I continued on my journey, I landed on an island named Strophius. On Strophius, we met a bunch of fighters. Those are ugly creatures. We fought them, we slaughtered them. However, before the death of one, she cursed us and told us that 
our hunger would drive us insane before we reached our destiny. She told us that we would have to nibble at the edges of our tables until our destination.